this is the energy vibration reading for it um Aries, some moon rising sign i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back i love you guys this is the third week of december and the week begins from the 17 until the 17 until the 23rd this week is the energy of the hair and what is going to be transpiring is that the energy of the hair is going to be bringing out the fire energies from monday until friday and from saturday and sunday okay so let's see what's coming out now um you aries are dealing with the ten of wands uh, on monday some burdensome situation that is going to be coming out okay what i would advise you guys to do is download the um moon readers because they're they're going to be giving you a lot more information okay so some burdensome situation is coming out on monday on tuesday you have to find inner strength um whatever the situation is is that this inner strength what is going to be transpiring um, you are dealing with some heartbreaks okay some heartbreaks with um it could be a Sagittarian or um, it could be that you have lost um, hope in a situation then um, you have the seven of Pentacles it could be heartbreaks in a project a situation that you have been working on or that you were expecting some financial stability and they didn't come in then on Friday you um, are going to you're going to be finding out about a theft on Friday um, and um, let's see what else is happening Saturday you have some lies and deception um, on Sunday stabbed in the back and on Sunday you're going to overcome the situation okay you're going to be overcoming all of this so some of you um, could be dealing with the king of cups now the king of cups is a man and he is 40 um, five years and older okay so what is transpiring and what is happening because um, you have um, fire energies and the three of swords on Wednesday so let's see what is happening the ten of wands and <clears throat> strength ten of wands and strength <clears throat> Have to do with the king of cups so whoever this king of cups is because he's here twice so some of you are going to be dealing with the king of cups and this king of cups is here twice now your burdens and you have to find inner strength has to do with the king of cups whoever this king of cups he's a Pisces cancer scorpion okay and this king of cups there is a deceptive situation that is going on but you're going to be finding out all right then we have strength and the three of swords what is this all about strength and the three of swords you're seeing a situation or you're not seeing a situation okay some of you could be seeing a situation for what it is or some of you choose not to see it okay it's as if your intuition is telling you something and you don't want to listen to your intuition it's as if no he doesn't have anyone I don't think he has anyone I don't think he will do something like that and he he's okay so um, it's the thing to find the inner strength to accept what your intuition is saying there is going to be the end of the situation with the king of cups whoever this king of cups is he is turning up in your region whether this king of cups is he's a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and a heartbreaks and the seven the ten of the you're having heartbreaks because you're not sure um, some of you really care for um, this man but um, I guess he didn't care for you you are finally seeing the truth and you don't want to accept it okay um, the energy of the seven of swords is has to do with some obstacles you have ten number ten and you can't go any lower than these two tens coming up in your reading so it's only going to be positive getting up so there is some hurt and some burdens that you're carrying and some of you are carrying this burden um, for this king of cups okay whoever this king of cups is is as if he has taken your heart or he has done some injustice things okay 
and a new start is going to be coming in okay there was some lies and deception I see some deceptive behaviors going on with the king of cups had placed some burden and some deceptive situation you have to find the inner strength he could be connecting with and a Sagittarians and now you're seeing the truth but the Sagittarians broke um, broke his heart or your heart is going to be broken some of you uh, he's gonna break the Sagittarians is gonna break his heart and some of you your heart is going to be broken uh, over the skin now there was some lies and deception um, he has played a role in some lies and deception and it was as if you didn't want to see what was happening in front of you this person is your twin flame this person is definitely your twin flame hmm. yeah this person is definitely your your twin flame um but um you're going to be overcoming this and a new start is going to be coming to this relationship um it could be a business partner for some of you but it's it's whatever has transpired with this king of cups um because he hasn't been very honest and it's as if you knew that he wasn't being honest and you didn't want to accept it and now you're realizing you know it is true he has i know that he's my twin flame or my soulmate but I'm not going to accept that um, he is with other people and then I am just going to be waiting around for him so what I'm seeing that is going to be happening is that you guys are going to decide because there was some lies and deception and um, whoever is the Sagittarius has stabbed him in the back and he's heartbroken okay so this king of cups was dealing with a Sagittarian um, and uh, uh, um, she stabbed him in the back and he's now art broken or you are now art broken because you've realized what has happened there is a, whatever the, decept the deceptiveness that the King of cups has done is as if he has done you something and the karma came back to him okay uh, it is really as if he has done you something and the karma is coming back at him it doesn't have to be the king of cups but it is um, a masculine energy in your life that has uh, stabbed you in the back and um, you know be this very deceptive over a situation stabbed you in the back that you have three times ten that is coming up in this week for you guys three times ten you have the ten of the of uh, um, lies and deceitfulness and being stabbed in the back and you're going to be overcoming this okay so it has to do with it has to do with the king of cups whoever um this person however they play in your life whether it's your father whether it's uh, someone who you have known for a long time whether but whoever he is he is your twin flame or your soulmate okay deception what is this deception all about but uh, it's this deception all about mm -hmm. so ten of what and it's a karmatic situation is a lesson to be learned so some of you have dealt with um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and whoever this person is he has been very deceptive okay he has stabbed you in the back like twice because here is the energy of the tens of swords and this is ruined um, twice one is in the reverse and one is is in this king of swords strike this king the spicy skins or scorpion tried to ruin you okay um, and he got it back he got it back because this is what the message is coming out to see whoever the spicy skins or scorpion is or was um, who tried to ruin you or try to ruin your project your business um, he's gonna get it back because what is going to be transpiring is that he um, and uh, he has been with someone else okay the secret is going to be coming out now he's he has been with someone else he was playing you like a fiddle he's with someone else and the secret is going to be coming out back 
what has transpired is that the person um, has stabbed him in the back and broke his heart so um, this is how you're going to be finding out because a new start is going to be coming um, some of you could have a project where you were working on or you were working together with this person on a project and he steals your idea and that sort of a thing and um, you're going to be victorious because um, you know the idea that he has stolen it's not going to work for him okay so um, you're going to be seeing him coming back on his knees to you and say no no it's over okay mm. can't tell you that but it's better to end it now because if you go back with this person it's not going to be positive okay let's see what is coming out it has a situation to do with work so some of you this person the spicy cancer scorpion 45 years and older could have stolen something to do with work okay um, he could have stolen something to do with work he's very sly he's very deceptive um, so be careful of that okay and let's see what else is coming out you're going to be um, receiving message that whoever that he was seen when he was seeing you um, I've stabbed him in the back deceive him and he's now heartbroken so this is going to be a yeah now see karma <laughs> yes. yes yes okay yes so the outcomes yes this was a karmatic situation okay this was a karmatic situation there's going to be some conflicts between you and this person there's really going to be some conflicts between you and this person it could be your husband or it could be your partner but there is going to be some conflicts because you're going to be knowing finding out that um, he has been cheating on you and he has been having multiple partners and uh, you are going to be just you know because you have let it go it, it will it will connect sometimes you will remember because you're at some places at some time and that sort of a thing but you know you're going to just learn to let it go because you need to let it go you are going to be overcoming whatever hardships that there was whatever karmatic situation that you have with the skin of, of uh, the Pisces cancer or Scorpio whatever hardship or whatever karmatic connection you have it could be a situation at work and that sort of a thing you're going to let it go you're going to just say no you know call upon the universal angels and ask them to cut the cords heal um, the contracts and cut the cords between you and this uh, Pisces cancer or scorpion man okay now let's see what two cards is going to be coming up because we're doing a two card session some of you could be asked to be um wow oh my gosh oh my good I, I this these three two energies are already um so I'm gonna ask the angels and guides again um because these two energies just came out and I have them now since as I get them from for the Aries you Aries it's all about the tribe and it's all about the end of the situation okay so obviously some of you had um, connected with um, a Pisces cancer scorpion it has an effect on you for the rest of you it's going to be very positive be careful about work situation there is some um, it's all about burdens you start you have twice the burdens um, the deception, deception people stabbing you in the back um, but some luck is coming out um, with work but for the rest family and that sort of a situation a whole huge things is happening there is going to be some new start some of you could be receiving the ends of marriage um, some of you could be getting um, uh, yeah be asked uh, um, being engaged 
actually engage work is good for you guys but for the rest family friends wow not good not good guys and these energies is coming up in the suite because I just did it apart I pulled them like apart for you Aries so it's um, this week is like trying to go back to the tribe finding your soul family and there is an end that is going to be coming to all the lies and deceitfulness I see the art breaks is going to be coming to an end for some of you who are dealing with a cancer a, a, Pis um, a Pisces cancer or scorpion okay and this is going to be good listen to your intuition because this has been your intuition has been guiding you for quite some time about this man but um, you are going to be finding out in the suite that this man you know the same thing that he gave out to you came back at him like powerful because um, he was dealing with an Aries and um, a Sagittarius person or an Ophiosis and uh, um, they stabbed him in the back and he's he's now heartbroken he's really now heartbroken he does and, and, he, and it's gonna come to an end and he's gonna be coming back at you for a new start whether or not you want to be with this person it is a karmatic situation should you be with this person no he played you someone new is going to be coming in a new start the conflicts is going to be over with him and someone new is going to be coming in and they're going to be offering you um, love and um, to get married okay mm -hmm. they're going to be offering you love and to get married so that is going to be good ladies and gentlemen please remember that full moon lady readings for help you will receive more information about this week to know who is going to be affecting you in the full moon um, full moon readings go and check out the full moon readings because these are just going to bring you some real powerful information to understand is it a Pisces is it a cancer is it a scorpion who is it but you're going to be overcoming this and a new start is going to be coming in for you okay and so I want to say um, thank you so much and namaste